at one go if you ask it to do a lot of things you ask different humans to do small small tasks and then together they form a team supervisor is also an agent there can be a lot of creative work i need to make decisions on the fly that which agent should be called next in software engineering perspective the usual terms to use that's options of creating your own architecture discussing some more advantages of using multiple agents. that is the flexibility that you have model is going to become really good in a particular domain have you heard of agi asr hello papa hello bachche ready to learn another new concept always ready but first we'll start with a test what is an agent If I currently remember, it is LLM plus tool. So LLM meaning GPT or anything yes, like that, yes. right? So any large language model plus some tools, tools. is agent, agent. right? Yeah. Tool can be anything. Like for example, like web search, web search tool or yeah. Gmail tool. Like yeah. We have taken enough examples, enough right? Examples, yes. Now let's focus on some cons or some problems of using agents. Okay. okay. So when mm. you use ChatGPT, you must have noticed that if you ask ChatGPT to do a lot of things at one go, like for example, if you ask it to suppose find the most common stocks that are being used recently, okay. plus the news of it, and then suggest me a stock price. If you ask it to do a lot of things, it might not do very well. Uh, frankly speaking, I have not noticed it because I am not doing it parallelly. Yes, yes. you might not be doing so many things, so many but things. if I ask you from a human perspective, like You used to work in Bechir in a factory. Yeah, right? if there are uh, bombarding so many things coming at a uh, time, definitely it will take time to respond. In a factory, what I mean is that you have many different people who specialize in a particular yes, domain, right? Yes, yes. Like for example, you have one person for HR, one person who is for good design, at something. For engineering, for manufacturing. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Now. when we talk about gpt when you use chat gpt it is generally good at everything not a specialist not specialist that is one point okay. and another thing is that at one go if you ask it to do a lot of things it has to understand the natural language right okay plus if your query itself or what you asked it to do if the instruction itself is of say 10 lines by the time it goes to the 10th line it might not it might forget or lose context okay, of the first two okay. three lines so right so you have to be very particular how to frame your questions yes before we move ahead i would just like to take a minute over here to tell you how you can learn live with me at edu courses at edu courses we have various courses for interview prep i have high level system design low level system design dsa for project based learning if you want to create really interesting scalable projects not simple clone ones check out hhld it is mern plus devops plus hld we have hands on generative ai course where i have not just covered the application side but also the internals of llms in a lot of detail with white paper discussions transformer architecture and so much more 10 hands on projects have been covered over there please check out the curriculum the testimonials the linkedin profiles of our all our students is tagged plus if you enroll for any of our courses you get lifetime access to all the batches the past batches the future batches so you will get access to the zoom recordings of the live class so you actually get a feeling that it is live itself this is the feedback that i have gotten from all our students that it really feels like it is live only even if it is not live but if you want to attend live only you will get access to all our future batches as well so at least check it out i would love to be part of your further learning journey and if you still have any questions feel free to reach out to us at support@edukosis.com or just drop a whatsapp or call us at this number and now let's continue so have you heard of something called prompt engineering also definitely yes so yes. The, see the whole concept of all of this of llm based applications of agentic applications is that prompt should be good very good Okay. It should be very good because yes. the more precise you can tell that I want the answer in this particular format, this is how I want the, the answer. The better the answer you'll get. Yes, okay. right. Good. And good. it makes sense that we ask it to do small, small tasks one by one instead of making it do everything. I think that is a reasonable too. Reasonable thinking, yeah, right? Definitely. It is. If you think about it from like compared to humans also. you have humans like you ask different humans to do small small tasks and then together they form a team i 100% agreed agreed 100% agreed okay now so it makes sense that in real scenarios see when we have to ask one question and get one reply it is okay we use chat gpt okay. right a very simple one query is going yeah, to your yeah. llm right but suppose i want to do multiple tasks together which is a very real use case right uh, because i would suppose let's take the example of stocks because you love stocks right yeah. so suppose i want to say that suggest me one stock which is trending but also give me news articles 
that like related to it. So web search and get me the news articles and then suggest me so in some this current case, price. Uh, this may not be the right example because I have tried it. And along with the stock, it gives all the related research also. Haan, Automatically, so, it does it. Haan, so it is not doing really well, right? Haan. You might want it to divide it into small, small. That uh, will work. always be better. Yes. Haan, haan. Right. Oh, yeah, I right. agree with you. Yes. Yes. With me, no? Yeah. yeah. So if I have to do small, small tasks, does it make sense to have multiple agents together? This is an interesting scenario. I, uh, looks to be a good I, I do not know the practicability of the implementation but yes it looks uh, I mean if in a factory you're saying only one person is not going to do everything then there why are people, yeah. there are there's a team of people yes, then yes. why only one agent has to do everything why not multiple agents together will perform makes really sense well? makes sense right so the agent could be a specialized in a particular uh, field maybe okay Okay. Right. Huh. Plus, we said like when we learnt MCP also, we always used to give a list of tools to the agent, right? Yeah. Now, if we give too many list of tools, then again it is getting like confused, right? That there are so many tools. It has to understand so much of context. Versus if there were three, Get four it. tools, it would be able to perform Every agent uh, having three, four tools. Like specialized in a particular domain. But then user should know which agent is uh, having which tool. Very good point. Right. So one by one, okay. you understand the need of multiple agents. Yes. Yes. So this video is about multi-agent architecture. Okay. So okay. when we are Got going it. to use multiple agents together. Very interesting. Interesting. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So a parallel metaphor that we are taking like for understanding purposes is that we have multiple humans working together in a team. Yes. Right. So if you have multiple humans working in a team, how do they usually work together according to you? How do they work together? Like who will, how will they know that what work do I have to do and all that? See, if it is a specialization in HR, design, manufacturing, they are specialists in a particular field. Hmm. Now, in particular section also, like design, there could be somebody is handling product design, another is handling the research department and third is handling the testing. Hmm. So that is a specialization within the specialization. There the teamwork will come into play. Right. But, but if who you talk will do of the teamwork? Like how will they come to know first what has to be done then what the has boss, to be done? The uh, boss, there, there has to be a, a person who has to direct all these three people to do it and then he will uh, take care of the teamwork. Very good. So can I call this boss as a supervisor? Yeah, definitely is a supervisor or manager. Yes. Uh, so this is one architecture. Okay. That you are going to have a supervisor agent. Who supervises the... Multiple small, small agents. Okay, great. Right. So you give a request to the supervisor, supervisor distributes to the agents and then gets the answer. Very good. So see, there are multiple architectures like this. Okay. That if we have multiple agents together, who will assign what work to an agent? Once a particular work is done, then how will we know that next which agent will be called? So one architecture is supervisor agent. Like this, there are multiple architectures. The analogy architectures which, is, which we have used is hmm. a very correct analogy and it explains the entire thing also. Like which tool will, like the product design, the research department will work first. Then hmm. comes the product design, then comes the testing. So this supervisor knows what is to be done. Correct. So what will supervisor agent do? Supervisor is also an agent. agent. It is also LLM Got plus it. bus. But, but his role and responsibilities are different from the correct. other agent. Supervisor agent will know that these are the agents with us. And so it will first call say one agent, then it will get the output from that agent, pass the work to next agent, get back, pass the output to next agent, get back the output, like, like that, right? So it is supervising the entire and, uh, uh, The responsibility of collating the outputs is uh, the agent, uh, supervisors, or oh, you could also have a separate agent that is dedicated to maybe okay. forming a response. Okay, okay, okay. So depends on how you want to place your multiple agents together, interest, right? Interest. So this is one way. Now okay. if I ask you another way that what else would be possible. So one way is this, okay, okay. that uh, there is one supervisor and 
first do this then do this because I think you have worked in a factory you are thinking of it because we have a dedicated workflow that yeah. first design will happen then something else will happen then something yeah, else yeah. will happen so there's a dedicated like fixed there's workflow. a flow chart yes which yes. supervisor can know and then supervisor can just follow that or right? it can be automated also sometimes right but sometimes what is going to happen is that it is going to be this, there can be a lot of creative work. Like for example, suppose we are writing script of a movie. Okay. okay. Sometimes we are going to say design some characters and then we are going to start writing a plot. So character designing maybe one agent did and then writing the plot another agent is doing. But while writing the plot, the agent feels that let's develop this character Under some character more. Required, so yeah. I need to go back. Yeah. Or maybe I maybe in suppose research, I, I have to do fact checking, right? So while writing the document, I realized that here we need some more fact checking. So there's okay. a fact checking agent that we need to call. Okay. So basically, I need to make decisions on the fly that which agent should be called next depending on the scenario that I have right now. Agreed, agreed. Right, agreed. that is yeah, also possible. Def definitely, it's a, it's a uh, good case. Right, yes. so every agent will decide that at this particular point in time, which should be the next agent that should be called. In fact, if you permit me, we call it a, in the uh, engineering parlance, we call it a PDCA approach. That's plan, right. do, check and act. Okay. While doing it, you are checking it and then again you are revising your plan. Okay. Nice. In software engineering perspective, the usual terms that are used are decentralized and centralized okay, approach. Great. Centralized approach is that there is a central supervisor Which that is controlling first. everything. Yeah, okay. yes. Decentralized is that there is no one central person or one central agent controlling, but all the, all agents, the agents are equally will, yes. important okay. and then they are, this is a decentralized approach. Yes, yes, right? Yes. So the first architecture that we went through is supervisor, supervisor. agent, uh, supervisor architecture and the second one is called swarm architecture. We have swarm. a swarm of okay. agents the working word makes together. Sense. Yes. 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 Like this in different frameworks, like when we write code now, so there are different frameworks to create agents and all of that. Okay. It's just like code perspective. So these different architectures are now supported okay. when we write code that right, you can right, create right. a supervisor you can create a swarm, swarm with us. Yeah. Like this, there are nowadays also options of creating your own architecture. Okay. That based, you will write your own logic that after this agent, maybe yeah, for a particular flow, you want to have a dedicated that after this, this should happen, after this, this should happen. And maybe somewhere else, you want a more decentralized approach that no, let agent decide. So you can also create your own architecture. It doesn't have to be just supervisor or just... Not a standard one, but... Yes, uh, the combination of okay. both. Great. Right? So like yes. this, different architectures are possible. Interesting? Yes, definitely. Yes. Now tell me, why do we need multiple agents? What are the problems of using one agent? As we discussed in the beginning, the one agent uh, will lead to a confusion, a state of confusion. Because if we are doing multitask, sometimes the confusion may take place and they may not be able to prioritize or give a uh, quality output. Correct. So there can be dedicated agents performing the dedicated tasks. And then uh, we have discussed the supervisor architecture and the swarm architecture. Very good. So in MCP video, one video I did with you where I explained you, yes. there is also another video where I wrote the code. So I created a multi-agent architecture code over okay. there. So for web search, I used one tool. So see, for stock, I took the example of stocks only. Yes. So what I did was that I first did one web search. So there was only one tool that was okay. used to suggest me some stock. Okay. Okay. Then I did another agent call. For, uh, no, I did another call for getting the news related to these, these two stocks. That like, is a part of the What is the trending? Okay. Yes. Okay. Then I did any market analysis is available. What okay. are people saying okay. and all okay. that. And depending okay. on that, tell me the pricing at which I should buy or sell okay. like that. Great. Great. Right. So that was like four agent calls together yeah, and then I created a, done. yes. Okay. So I wrote the code for this, that there was a supervisor agent and then there are four small agents doing this. Very nice. Sounds interesting. Definitely. Yes. Now let's discuss some more advantages of using multiple agents together. Right? We are discussing the advantages of multiple agents or the swarm structure versus... Uh... No, that we have discussed. Okay. Now we are uh, discussing some more advantages of using multiple agents Why together. multiple agents yes. are required? Okay. Like for example, we have discussed about this, right? That there are different LLMs that are available, like GPT, there is Gemini, there is uh, DeepSeek, Deep Seek and yeah. so on. Now, like earlier, only GPT was famous and then suddenly DeepSeek came into picture, right? So GPT maybe was charging more and now DeepSeek is charging less. I'm just giving an example. Yeah, yeah, I'm not possible, telling that quite, this quite is possible. what is there. So one LLM might be cheaper or one LLM might be better at a particular task. Like 
a deep seek is better say at reasoning because it is a reasoning model that, that will give you a lot of peace but that you have to test and uh, yes okay. and also when the uh, llms are released like we there's a usually a lot of buzz and then we know that what are the factors based on which okay. it has been tested so some llms are better at some tasks other llms are better Always at possible. some other yes, tasks yes. also there are some particular tasks for which you are okay spending money versus some task you would want to use free models that these are very basic task any model can do well okay. so let's just use a small free model over here versus some task you really want to do you, like suppose news analysis or Understood. market research yeah. so you want to use a good LLM where deep analysis there. is required yes. or quality output is required Correct. so you need to have a paid version right okay so when we have multiple agents working together it makes sense that for some agents because a agent is what nlm plus tool yes. so for some agents you can use the free models or for some agent you can use gpt for another agent you can use deepseek for another uh, agent you can use gemini got it right so depending on what you want to do so, so that is the flexibility that you have yes this is a general principle in software development that you want your uh, system to be as flexible as, as modular possible. as possible yes, right yes, that yes. if you want to use free versions for small small task why not why spend the money right why agreed, use agreed. expensive yeah, yeah, models definitely. over there so this is one benefit okay another benefit you remember we had discussed fine tuning versus rag in a video yeah i think we had done one video together yes fine tuning versus rag we yes, had discussed yes. so fine tuning what was it okay let's see <laughs> basically uh, retraining the model if Haan. i correctly remember correct correct okay right so fine tuning meaning we are going to retrain the model, model right and so what is going to happen the model is going to become really good in a particular domain like for example legal matters or software development or things like that now when we have suppose multiple agents working together in one particular agent suppose we want the specialization in legal sure. or maybe in one agent we want specialization in, in say, writing HR. code yeah okay right in writing code maybe we have trained it specially okay. for to be specialized in code you can use the fine tuned model over there great right so because of multiple agents working together you have so, the flexibility again i would say there's there can be an, another terminology for this super specialist yes in fact have you heard of agi asi i have only heard the terms okay what does it stand for i think it is artificial general intelligence and artificial super intelligence okay so actually there was a linkedin post that i made that okay. you know so there are different theories like different definitions of agi and asi that people okay. are using these okay. days okay. agi especially is in a lot of discussion so people are saying that we should have one model which is really good at everything in all the domains right so one like what i had posted was that there should be way to achieve agi by using multiple agents together okay. so if we think of it multiple agents that are specialized in a particular domain together it will seem like they AGI. are agi yeah so one system but multiple agents you are pulling the basically the expertise yes so okay. that will help us achieve like like you know really good intelligence right. in all right. the fields oh. so Got yeah it. this is another topic that is into discussion but i hope you enjoyed this and Definitely, now you understand the need of multiple That's agents something new to learn always yep and so now you should ask them to share like and subscribe if you have liked this video and also tell us the next few topics of the videos that we should be creating because we papa is here together. for a few more days so we can definitely create more yes thank you thank you bye bye bye